leader of the movement of democratic forces of Kasama Salif Sajo has on Monday released seven economic soldiers after three weeks of confinement. Speaking on behalf of the separatist leader, Pap Sane, the operations commander of the separatist movement, says the seven soldiers are released on the humanitarian grounds. Details in his report. <laughs> These soldiers may not be thinking of holding guns, rather thrilled by the joy of reuniting with their families and loved ones after spending three weeks under the roof of the separatist movement. The release of the seven MFDC economic hostages came thanks to the intervention of the Gambia's presidential task force who spearheaded negotiations leading to their freedom. The MFDC group had several negotiations with the Presidential Task Force together with ECOWAS, the International Federation for Red Cross Society and the Italian stakeholders. Pap Sane is the operations commander of the MFDC movement. He explains the motive behind releasing the economic captives. He said, Salif said today, the seven captives ones should be will be handed to Mr. Claude Escondo to take them to their relatives. He said they will not give them to you without the presence of the Gambian delegation here. He said because ECOWAS are being hosted by the Gambia. He said Salif say let him. Uh, so this to the Gambian government. Gambi di Kasamas batia nyala kunam palakun. That the Gambia and Kasamas are of the same people, they are brothers and sisters. Mati futika fanya Kasamas. That the fighting that is in Kasamas. Uligile futik mati bandia. They are not fight. They are not bandits. They are fighting. Uligile di futik mati terrorism. They are not fighting for terrorism. Uligile futik mati freedom fighters. They are fighting for freedom. Uligile di Gambi jalan minuli. They did not ask any help from the Gambia. But they want the relationship that is between them and the Gambia to remain. The seven soldiers were apprehended and detained following a deadly clash between the MFTC forces and the economic militias on January 24th along the borderline near Fony Kansala district in West Coast region. Colonel Musa Trawale and Claude Kondo Political advisor for ECOWAS both thanked the MFDC for their kind humanitarian gesture. I want to thank them on behalf of my team. The message he has been he has sent on behalf of the MFDC leader is well received. The message for the Gambia government, we will extend it to them, and I believe uh, the ECOWAS also will extend their message to the, to the ECOWAS. We have seen wars fought in other regions, but this has never happened. So on, on behalf of ECOWAS, we thank you so much for your kind humanitarian consideration. The captives were paraded before the negotiation team to finalize the modalities of their release. Before they are released, the three negotiators, ECOWAS, the Presidential Task Force, and the Italian mediators had to put pen to paper by signing to serve as evidence of their release. Between, between the locals living around the border belt between Senegal and the Gambia have paid the price of the class between the economic forces and the MFDC forces as children could no more go to schools and several people had to flee their houses for safety by seeking refuge in other parts of the country. Uh, that the people of Fony this, this event have really disturbed them. Not even Fony alone. Even the government of the Gambia. When they heard about this problem, nobody is seated. Because Gambia don't know anything about fighting. I think that all we have done is trying to limit um, the consequences of this tragedy. And I can say all the people who are here, uh, uh, I have to thank specifically 
the Gambian authorities, the Syria authorities, uh, were working in the same direction, uh, creating a good synergy and collaboration among us in order to solve this problem. For four decades, the main mission of the separatist movement has been to fight to liberate its people. The MFDC rebels and Senegalese government signed a peace pact in December 2004, raising hopes for reconciliation. Following the agreement, the Senegalese government promised to provide voluntary integration of MFDC fighters into the country's paramilitary forces. Economic recovery programs for Casamas demining and aid to returning refugees. However, some hardline factions of the MFDC soon defected from the peace deal and no negotiations took place following the breakdown of talks in 2005. The eruption of tensions between the economic forces and the MFDC forces has sparked several reactions among Gambians, with some recommending for the government to remove the economic forces in Fony to restore the peace in the region. However, will the government of the Gambia heed to the advice of the people? This is the million dollar question. Reporting for iAfrica TV, I am Osman Jata from the Kasamas region.